I'm glad to be here to share our solution. As the competition this year was quite challenging, and we were very lucky to survive the shakeup and won the first place. So I will start with the background of our team, and next I will outline the challenges we faced in the competition. Following that, I will summarize our approach and solution, and then proceed to discuss our data preparation strategies, the modeling and the training processes, and uh, conclude with the results we achieved. Uh, so I'm Jing Yitian, or Clever. I'm a student in computer science and artificial intelligence, and my teammate. Hao Yu Wang is also a student in artificial intelligence now. So the goal in this competition is to segment blood vessels in human kidneys. The challenges were multifold, including the limited data availability, the presence of sparsely labeled data, inconsistency in the spacing between training and testing sets, and then also a sensitive evaluation metric that made the public leaderboards unreliable. These challenges required us to devise a robust solution. Uh, so to summarize our solution, our model is a customized unit architecture leveraging a lightweight encoder called Next Tiny with an additional stamp block for improved feature extraction. To tackle the data challenges, we employed highway data augmentation techniques, including random 3D slice rotations. And our loss function is a composite of focal loss, death loss, boundary loss, and a customized marching cube loss aiming to optimize the surface death score directly. For inference, we proceed the data across three axes and use the test time augmentation to enhance our model's predictive robustness. In preparing our data, we utilized all available data, including high resolution and sparsely annotated data. We randomly cropped and resized the slice to 1536. We sliced the volume along different axes to generate more data from different views. Heavy augmentation strategies was used involving random flips, random intensity, random scaling, noise addition, and random 3D rotations. We implemented an efficient 3D slice rotation, which allowed us to do online data augmentation. For our model, we used a 2.5D unit architecture, stacking three consecutive slices to incorporate 3D information effectively. The target vessels in the competition were extremely small, so we added an extra stem block to our model for capturing high resolution features. And inspired by the fast surface death computation, we designed a customized matching cube loss. Given the computation's focus on surface depth and tolerance zero, the metric can be simplified as weighted cube dice. The metric considers a cube composed of eight voxels and analyzes its surface by evaluating 256 potential patterns. Each pattern corresponds to a specific surface. If the prediction and the ground truth mask cube both have non zero surface area, this cube is true positive. The weight S for different surface cubes is Martian cube surface area. So by replacing binary mask with probabilities and the surface area with mean surface area expectation, we can have a soft version of surface depth. So we can convert the output voxel probability into cube probability by 256 channel 3D convolution, 
allowing for a more accurate understanding of the 3D spatial relationships within the kidneys' vasculature. To manage the computational and memory overhead of 3D convolution, we simplified this by categories the 256 patterns into three classes, foreground, background, and surface, making it feasible to implement within our training. We utilize a two-channel 3D convolution to determine the foreground and background probabilities, from which we derive the surface probability. And by replacing mean surface area expectation with ground truth area, we can have a margin cube loss. But in practice, we found that the surface area width had minimal impact on our final model's performance, and it only considers the surface cubes because ground truths, foreground and background cubes surface area are zero. So ignoring the surface area width, we use the mean of foreground, background, and surface death losses as the final margin cube loss. So for our training process, we used a batch size of 32 with gradient accumulation and an Adam W optimizer with a warm-up cosine annealing scheduler trained for 30 epochs. For inference, we upscale the slice to 3072 and employ the test time augmentation to ensure robustness and accurate prediction. And also we use torch compile to accelerate the inference process. For submission, we utilize an example of two 2.5D unit models differing in their use of 3D rotations. From the results, standalone 2.5D models exhibit inferior performance compared to their 2D counterparts. However, with the integration with Martian cube loss and 3D random rotation techniques, the performance of the 2.5D models demonstrated a significant improvement.